Ladies and gentlemen, this is Marlo8550, and this is the Elementalist Mini Guide. As you can see, I am on the Elementalist. Although you will already know this because the intro will tell you that I'm on the Elementalist. But that's okay. I have been criticized so much by other players how I play the Elementalist. Um, I like to do a lot of AoE damage. Uh, and I don't like to spam the Firestorm button multiple times. Uh, reason being is there is a move that r makes it so that the cooldown on your Firestorm doesn't go off so you can continue to use it. Uh, but I don't really care too much about that because I like to use multiple moves and I like to keep my hands moving with this character. The Elementalist is by far my favorite class out of all of them only because there is so much shit going on with this character. Uh, once again, I have a weapon that gives me hill on kill. This one does 8% hill on kill, but also my Elementalist gains hill every time something dies. Um, I'll explain later, but let's get into this. So, obviously, I'm a fire mage. I go straight down the fire spec. Um, in all honesty, there's only one move you should go for first, so just basically ignore everything else, and you're going to want to just, you know, get this, conduct a current, you know, flashpoint, this is the the move that makes it so that it doesn't trigger a cooldown, and I'll tell you why people want this with the uh, Firestorm and an, another move, but you want that, uh, go down to cl Clean Burn, go down to Pyromancer, more damage for your fire moves, and, you know, reducing cooldown, of course, and then the move that you absolutely want is Death Sightsin. This move, by reading it, I'm just going to read it, every time an enemy nearby you dies, or dies nearby you, you regain he both health and mana. That means it, it says nearby you, but it's really anyone in the entire zone that dies will give you health. I'm not sure if that's a glitch, or they just meant to do that, and it really meant to be like nearby you but it's the whole fucking area. Okay, anyway, let's continue. Um, I don't go directly for Firestorm, actually. And actually, I need to tell you the moves. So, Emulation. I use Firemine, Wall of Fire, and Firestorm. Now, so I already told you to go straight down to Death Scythe, because that move, or that passive will basically save your life or won't let you die at all. Um, next thing you want to go into is to choose between Wall of Fire and Fire Mine. I would just choose Wall of Fire because a lot of people do not like Fire Mine and I'll explain why a lot of people don't like Fire Mine. Um, so Wall of Fire does a lot of damage and it, it, it stays there for a good amount of time and it has fear which is even better and it, you know, you upgrade it so that it does even uh, a bigger size and a better damage bonus over time. <clears throat> Next is Fire Mine. The reason everybody hates this move is because of the word mine. Nobody likes to place something down and wait for it to be a trap. Nobody really likes those trap type mechanics. Uh, I love trap mechanics, uh, especially this fire mine, because this shit does a lot of damage. I'm talking one hit KOs on mostly every single monster, uh, besides like a giant bull, the guardians, and the bosses, of course. But this shit does a lot of damage and the burn damage is even even more insane I'm talking like it's doing a grand one grand a tick after the burn damage is happening <clears throat> nobody really likes using it because it takes a minute for it to look set up but I like using it and I think it does all it just it serves its purpose honestly <laughs> <clears throat> uh, 
Last but not least, you're going to want Firestorm. Who doesn't like a shit ton of fucking fire falling from the sky, honestly? It, does, it doesn't do a lot of damage compared to some of the other moves, but when there's a lot of enemies and you have that move in combo with other moves, because it stuns too, it's really, really good. And if you're able to get two of them off at the same time, which is awesome sometimes. Um, now, let me explain one thing. Now, Firestorm, there's these people called Firestorm spammers. And what they do is with uh, Flashpoint, which is the move that, you know, after you land a critical hit, your next spell cast doesn't trigger cooldown period. It doesn't trigger the cooldown period. So what people do is they will actually spec into this energy barrage and it has 12 projectiles so that's 12 chances to crit right so they use that then they use firestorm and then they you know get a little bit more mana back up then they use fire you know then they use if if barrage is down before firestorm of course uh then they use barrage again cast firestorm back and forth back and forth back and forth i don't do that because i don't like to spam firestorm up the ass um get back you bastard i'm in your deck Next couple moves you want to go into, you just kind of, you know, go down, go down, and get this move. Get Guardian Spirit. It will save your life so much more than Death Scythe. And even though Death Scythe was a save your life, forgot you can do this in any order you want. But I, this is the way I did it. <clears throat> then I got Gathering Storm, you know, cooldown, and then I got this for more damage duration bonus, and. I just got this for the extra, um, you know, magic and cunning, and then also Stormbringer for the extra damage. And honestly, at that point, I was level 19, and there was no point in me using any other spell. And that's just how I do it. But as always, here's my character with some kill streaks.